This is Larry, call sign K4LDC, and I'm going to make a short video here to walk you through setting up the Ham Dash scoreboard for this weekend's CQ Worldwide DX contest. So, for, and this is assuming you've already set up N3FJP software, contest software for uh, logging. So, after you do that, first thing you do is set up or is to uh, open your web browser and navigate to the ham dashboard which is ham-affirmatech.com <clears throat> this should take you if you have been here before it should bring you to a screen that shows uh, the most recent past contests and future contests first thing we want to do is go up here and click on the little setting icon looks like a little gear and enter your call sign in my case I'll put in my call sign and what this does is put a little star next to your call sign in the list that will display later so that you can easily uh, pick out your score if you got a whole uh, list of scores showing. next thing we'll do is for our club we're going to select our club sign or call sign or club name I'm sorry go down to the S's look for silver comet amateur radio society not services and not ARS silver comet amateur radio society enter that and what this will do is put a little club symbol next to every call sign in the list that is in our club and has selected the same club. You can also change the theme if you like. Uh, say if you're in a dark room or something you can change it to dark or whatever you want to do. I, I just leave mine on classic most of the time. Uh, if you want to see contests that run mainly during a week and last only two hours you can turn that on and it'll add it to this main list. And if you're going to, depending on how you are participating in the contest, if you're participating as uh, non-assisted, as in no spotting and uh, software or anything like that, you can enable this and it will not show the uh, spot feeds and whatnot as that comes in. Another thing is uh, the help screen here. Everything I'm going to go through is in, in the help. If you click on help, it brings you to their page with all of this and also has uh, examples of everything, including setting up in uh, 3 fjp and what all the little icons uh, indicate in the uh, list when we get to that. So we'll go back up here and return to Hamdash. All right, so... We've entered our call sign, we've selected our club, close that out, and we go down here and select the contest uh, that we're going to participate in. CQ Worldwide DX Contest Single Sideband. It's uh, two days and four hours till it starts. It's 48 hours long, and this is the local time start and stop. So if you click on that, it brings up the list of everybody that has their N3FJP currently uploading to uh, Hamdash for the content for this particular contest <clears throat> you'll notice uh, people in our contest have a little club symbol next to them and here's mine with the little star you also uh, have your scores which will not start accumulating until the con official start of the contest and at the official end of the contest it stops so whatever your score is then is what they're going to show. Uh, category, if you're high power, and if you're assisted, and of course put the icon over it, it shows you. Uh, if you're a multi-operator, it'll have a little M out here. Again, all those are explained in the help panel. So the next thing we want to do is click on filters and filter this list down to just our club. You can also filter it by high, low power, QRP, assisted, non-assisted, single op, and multi-op if you 
care to do that. Click on the clubs uh, icon there and scroll down to the S's and let's see, whoop, went too far didn't I? Look for Silver Comet Amateur Radio Society. There we go. And we're going to enable that. Now if you notice immediately the list has been filtered down to just people that are in our club that have used Silver Comet Amateur Radio Society as their club as well. So now everything that's going to display on the screen is going to be related to our club there. All right, you can close that out. <clears throat> now if we go over here to club standing, we can see where our club ranks with the rest of the clubs. Once this contest starts, the scores will start accumulating and it'll start ranking our clubs. It tells you how many stations are reporting into it into each uh, club. It's kind of a neat way to keep track of where we stand and how we're doing. Also, you can go over here and click on a call sign. We'll click on mine, for instance. And it pulls up a summary of my operation. It'll give me uh, QSOs, points, rates, times, operating time, uh, when we start the contest, frequency, things like that. It'll also list uh, my last five to ten contacts down below. And uh, you can see Silver Comet Amateur Radio Society. And also go directly to my QRZ or HAM database web page as well. And that's the same for everyone else if you're here. But, uh, here you see Steve's, or not Steve, but uh, K4BBH Dave's frequency is being reported so it shows up. You can actually copy that to your clipboard take it to the N3FJP, put it in the call field, and go straight to that frequency if you're trying to get a hold of, of uh, this particular person. All right, that is it. You're ready to go once the contest starts and uh, we start accumulating scores. Every time uh, one of somebody uh, enters that, it'll show up uh, in the uh, feed along the bottom. And uh, you can see that in the help screen as well. So 73s and good luck in this weekend's uh, CQ Worldwide DX contest.